Hello everyone. These are the components of environment: hydrosphere, atmosphere, biosphere, and lithosphere. The biotic component includes comes under biosphere. The soil and this crust and mental portion is known as lithosphere. This portion is called as atmosphere, and here this portion, including water, is hydrosphere. Today's topic is hydrosphere. The objective of this topic is to know about the importance of water. its existence in various forms that uh, how the water is present in uh, various forms where it is found and in which forms it is present and to know um, that we are exist on earth because of water so water is very very important for life so all the water and watery layer of the earth is hydrosphere and hydrosphere it includes all the water content which are present on the planet earth it includes the water which is present on the surface underground water and the water present in the air the water uh, in hydrosphere it is in the it can be in the form of liquid in the form of vapor in the form of ice and the at surface um uh, is covered with water and the 70% of this is water 70% of at surface is covered in water on earth the liquid water it exists in the form of oceans lakes and rivers it also exists below the ground as ground water in wells and aquifers uh, water vapors they are visible as clouds and fog and the frozen part of the earth hydrosphere is made of ice glacier ice caps and icebergs which is also called as cryosphere 97.2% of all the water which is found on the earth is present in the oceans ocean has more salinity or you can say the salt content in ocean water is high and therefore it is unable to use so uh, we can clean this salt water by the process known as desalination that means removal of salt and because of this the uh, 2.8% of the earth water is present as fresh water and out of this 2.8% 2.05% of fresh water is locked in ice caps and glaciers and only 0.7% of the water is in drinkable form so 97% of the water on the earth is salt water 2% is frozen in glacier and polar ice caps remaining 1% is found mainly as ground water with only a small fraction present above the ground or in the air surface water contains organic matter and mineral nutrients dissolve in that ground water also contains dissolved mineral in it and the most suitable domestic source for human consumption is fresh water this slide shows the water cycle water moves through hydrosphere uh, through this in a cycle water collect in the cloud Uh, due to the process known as condensation falls on the earth in the form of rain or snow precipitation on the land evaporation for from precipitation evaporation from water sources 
evaporation from land transpiration from vegetation evaporation from soil evaporation from reservoir surface outflow evaporation from ocean and it get condensed and forms the cloud and then this condensed water again precipitates and uh, in the form of rain or snow and this water then collect in um, rivers lakes and oceans then again it evaporates and goes to the atmosphere and this cycle goes like this and a surface water run off and it forms a absorb under soil forms a water table infiltration and this is a percolation it percolates deep into the um, earth and this is the ground water which is outflow and goes finally to the ocean and this is salt water which intrudes inside the earth and this is called as soil uh, this is called as water cycle this uh, this uh, purple color is soil moisture so water infiltrates inside the um, earth this is again the water cycle uh, this shows that how uh, the um, transpiration from the trees and this transpiration of water the this water vapor then condensed and forms the cloud the clouds uh, then again precipitation takes place result in the rain and snowfall and this rain water run off and accumulate in the rivers or oceans and then it again evaporates then it condenses and again forms the clouds so this is hydrologic cycle and this cross this is a cross section of the land which shows the water table this is unsaturated soil part and uh, the water is here in the form of rivers so they come and this is the surface water river lake streams and then the water goes down this is the ground water and here is the water table where water is present this slide shows that uh, how the uh, water goes inside this is the water table unsaturated zone this is saturated zone this is whole ground water and here is the lakes or streams and this is surface water this is land surface and uh, the water which is not ground water it helps by the molecular attraction surrounding surface of the rock particles this is the rock particles and the water is inside these rocks so approximate level of this is the approximate level of water table this is a graphical distribution of the location of water on the earth on the earth earth water 97% is saline that is in the ocean and 3% is the fresh water out of this 3% 68.7% is logged in ice caps and glacier uh, in the form of solid and 30.1% uh, is a ground water and rest is 0.9% and uh, from this the 0.3% is the surface water this is whole fresh water and then 0.3% surface waters uh, ka 87 point uh, 87% is in the lakes 11% in the swamps and 2% in the river which is a fresh surface water which is in the form of liquid and which is a uh, usable form of water so use of fresh water from the water cycle surface water lake stream this is again a slide showing the water cycle how the water evaporates condensed here is a transpiration from the green plants and evaporation from the rivers this river goes and enters into the ocean or sea and then these are the solar radiation again the cloud is formed again precipitation rain occurs and this is infiltration this is the ground water and here is the salt water it goes and mix with the salt water so ground water springs aquifers which are extracted by pumping wells the water which is logged in the solid form uh, that is in the form of snow or ice which include glaciers ice shelves 
snow icebergs and arctic climatology and this whole part is known as cryosphere hydrosphere is very important for various life forms and it has an important role in ecosystem and regulating the atmosphere most of the chemical reactions uh, which occurs in the life it involve substances that are dissolved in the water without water the cells they do not carry out their normal functions and without water the life cannot exist water also provide the habitat and it is the important place where many animals and plant lives so this is the importance of hydrosphere and this is because of the variety of properties present in the water there are uh, these are some of the properties of water that is water is heavier than the air so it impart a greater buoyancy to the aquatic medium it has unique thermal properties like heat capacity is more latent heat and highest freezing point water has highest heat capacity that is it can hold large amount of heat because of this property of water the temperature of the biosphere remains relatively stable for example about 75 kg men at most condition produces heat which would raise the body temperature up to 100 to 150 degree centigrade but because of the high heat capacity of the body water the temperature remains constant at 32 degree centigrade thermal conductivity of the water is poor as compared to metals the conductivity value of the silver is 1.10 whereas for the water the conductivity is 0.0125 latent heat of melting is the uh, number of calories required to convert 1 gram of solid at the freezing point into 1 gram of liquid at the same temperature latent heat of evaporation is the number of calories required to change 1 gram of liquid into vapor water is a very good uh, solvent or you can say it is a universal solvent which can dissolve all the substances it has a greatest surface tension of all the common liquids except mercury it is a viscous liquid buoyant medium it is transparent and it enables to penetrate light to the depth where it is ultimately absorbed the zone up to which the light rays penetrate is called photic zone below this zone there is no light and because of all these properties the overall change in the hydrosphere environment changes the climate due to various cyclic changes and therefore water plays a very important role in determining the type of flora and fauna present in that particular area so the conclusion is hydrosphere it is the most important aspect of life on earth thank you